Go under the organic reactions flowchart for you to try. So this one's number six in the series. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So starting on the left hand side, which carbonyl compound when reduced will generate compound K, which is secondary alcohol there. So it's going to be the respective ketone. So it's that one there. What are the reagents that would bring that about? That's aqueous NABH4. If we continue along the top line there, so if we react this with a mixture of sodium bromide and sulfuric acid, we're effectively reacting it with HBr. That's going to generate the halogenoalkane, so it's just going to replace the OH group for a bromine. And finally, compound K with an acid catalyst and heat. So this is going to dehydrate the alcohol, so it's going to eliminate H2O. So we're going to take the OH off and another H. The H has to come from an adjacent carbon to the OH group. So we can either take the H from here, and we'll put a double bond there, or we take the H off here, put a double bond there. So the two structural isomers look like that and that.